Hey guys, welcome to the 198th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish looking at the iDisposable interface. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a class. And inside of your class, just make sure you have an image. And inside of your uh, class's constructor, just make sure you set that image equal to something. I just set it equal to a random image. Alright, so before we actually look at inheriting from the iDisposable interface, I'm going to show you another way of disposing of a uh, class. So we were, if we were to just type right here using, and then we were to just basically create a new instance of whatever class we wanted to inside of uh, these two parentheses right here. So if we were to say my class mc equals a new my class, and then we just put a block of code underneath that. Basically what it will do is whenever it's done executing this code inside of these two brackets, it'll just dispose of your class. And the reason that we're getting an error right here is because we're not inheriting from the iDisposable interface. Because basically what it does when it's done executing this code is it looks for uh, a dispose method inside of your class. And we don't have that because we're not inheriting from the iDisposable interface. Alright, so let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to say right here inheriting from the iDisposable interface. Alright, and that's not all we have to do. We still have to provide implementation for um, a few methods. So the first method that we have to provide implementation for is a protected, oops, protected virtual void. And the name of this method is just simply called dispose. But this isn't actually what is called. Uh, that's a public method which we're going to create in a minute. And through this method you have to pass through a bool and I'm just going to call it b. Alright, so basically what we're going to do right here is say if uh, this bool right here, and it's called b, is true, then we're just going to dispose of everything that is inside of our class that we're using. And really all that we're using right here is an image, but if you were to have a class that's using like, I don't know, a binary reader or something like that, then you'd want to make sure that you dispose of it inside of here. So everything that you're using, you want to dispose of inside of here. So we're just going to say i.dispose, and that's really all that we have to do. Alright, and the next method that we have to provide implementation for is also called dispose, but this one's public. This is the actual method that um, this looks for and that users can call. So we're just going to say public uh, void, and this is just called dispose, and you don't really have to provide any information. You just have to call the method. Alright, and we're just going to want to call this dispose method right here so that it will actually dispose of this image. So we're just going to say um, dispose and then we're just going to pass through true so that it will actually delete this. Alright and right after this we have to actually call another method called suppress finalize inside of the GC class and GC just stands for garbage collector so we're just going to say GC dot suppress finalize and then it just calls for an object and we're just going to want to pass through this and Basically what suppress finalize does is it makes it so the deconstructor for whatever object you pass through right here won't be called. So if we were to just go ahead right here and create a deconstructor, so my class, and we just have like a message box show in our deconstructor, this code will never be called um, because when this method is, or when this class is disposed of, we do gc.suppressFinalize and that just prevents the deconstructor from being called. So if I were to say right here, Adam, we'll never get to this code right here. Alright, so once again, this using uh, statement right here basically just says that whenever the code inside of here is done executing, it will just dispose of this object right here that we create. So it'll dispose of mc and just call this method. And since it calls this method, um, it'll call this gc.suppressFinalize, making it so this deconstructor will not be called. Alright, so when I click this button right here um, on our form, we shouldn't get any message boxes, and when I exit the application, nope, we don't get any message boxes, and that's, uh, remember, because this deconstructor will never be called. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the iDisposable interface, so see you guys.